it's Jessie V, and as you can tell by the title of today's video, today I'm going to be telling you guys why you should never play the Barney I Love You song backwards. Interesting video topic, right Jess? I'm actually talking about two childhood TV shows in this video. One is Sesame Street, the other one is Barney, obviously. There is a lost episode of Sesame Street that was actually created, like this is actually real and not a creepypasta that I'm going to be telling you guys about, and then we'll be moving on to Barney. Also, do you like the material of this show? It's so strange and there's so many colors happening, but I kind of love it. And before I jump right into today's video, I just want to announce uh, two new things that we have on the website. The first are these star earrings. Aren't they pretty? I love them so much. And they come in the coolest packaging. You guys know I love like planets, space, stars, anything like that. So if you guys would like these, they are linked down below. And we also have lava lamp slime. Yes, you heard that correctly. Now, I don't know if lava lamps are really a thing anymore. I actually wanted to do like a whole twisted nostalgia video on them, but lava lamps used to be like so huge back in the 90s, early 2000s. I always had one in my room. So when I saw these lava lamp slimes, I had to get them for the website. It's in your classic like lava lamp containers, <laughs> the same shape that everyone's familiar with. It comes in three different colors, this whitish color, blue and red, and they actually light up. Look at this, it's lighting up. So yeah, if you would like any of those very nostalgic lava lamps, slimes I have linked them down below. You know my website's always full of really strange weird things. All right guys so let's jump right into this video. Firstly talking about the lost episode of Sesame Street and this episode has everything to do with Mr. Snuffleupagus. Now Mr. Snuffleupagus is a full-bodied Muppet character who lives with his family in a cave just off of Sesame Street. He is eternally four and a half years old and celebrates his birthday on August 19th and then Snuffy's very best friend is Big Bird. And when he first appeared on the show, many adults and characters in the show assumed that he was Big Bird's imaginary friend. And this was because no one would ever see him. Like Big Bird would talk about him, but they would never see his best friend. Big Bird would often try to find ways for Snuffy to meet the adults, but something would always cause Snuffy to leave before the humans could see him. And then by the seventh season, Snuffy is so used to people not being able to see him that in one of the episodes, he actually counts every person who doesn't know Notice him. <laughs> Why is this so relatable? I feel like I was snuffle up against back in high school. From 1971 to 1985, various kids could see Mr. Snuffleupagus. Some Muppets saw him and even a few celebrities, but the majority of the people didn't see him until season 17. He was finally shown to everyone in the show that he wasn't imaginary, he was actually real. And that was because there was concerns from the writers that the adults' refusal to believe Big Bird's claims of his friend's existence would discourage children from sharing important things with their parents. And by the way, Ty's family actually called me Snuffleupagus in the first like month or two that we were dating because he would talk about me to his family, but whenever he like invited me over, I would have to cancel or like change plans last second, mostly because that's when I was first diagnosed with Lyme disease. So I was like super sick and at like doctor's appointments, but also because I was super nervous about meeting them because I'm like a really shy person in real life. So his parents were calling me Snuffleupagus until they met me. <laughs> okay, so this lost episode was called Snuffy's Parents Get a Divorce, which obviously is something that would have very dark themes and I'm surprised an episode like this would be on Sesame Street. This episode was originally intended to air on April 10th, 1992, but was pulled before airing after extremely negative reactions from a test screening. The episode attempted to deal with the issue of divorce using Snuffy's family as an example, but many children were left very confused and some came away thinking that their parents wouldn't love them anymore. And some thought that whenever their parents would argue meant that they were going to get a divorce. So it was decided that this episode was too intense for children. And the episode is real. It was completed, but it was never released to the public in any form. It was only shown as a test screening to a few groups of kids. And yeah, they were all like watching the episode screaming and crying, thinking that that would happen to them. And don't get me wrong. I feel like divorce is a very important topic for kids to learn about, especially because so many people go through it, obviously. But the 
way they went about it, parents found was very strange. All right, now let's talk about Barney and why you should never play the I Love You song backwards. So like I said, while the Sesame story I spoke about was true, I'm pretty sure that this one is a creepypasta. Like I'm pretty certain. And I feel like I've told so many creepy Barney stories on this channel. It's like scary stuff about him is just endless. Okay, so Barney is a purple dinosaur and the main protagonist of the television series Barney and Friends. He's a 200 million year old, seven foot tall purple Tyrannosaurus Rex with a green tummy and green spots on his back and tail. He comes to life through a child imagination springing up from a doll to full size. Now the I Love You song basically wraps up every single Barney episode or video or movie. It's like the song they close with and I feel like everyone's familiar with this song. The song is a symbol of how Barney loves people deeply and how his friends are like family to him and it actually uses the tune of a very old song called This Old Man and I remember hearing that song uh, growing up when I was really really little and that song always used to creep me out. I'll show you guys the lyrics of the original song. This old man he played one. He played knickknack on my thumb with a knickknack paddywhack give a dog a bone. This old man game rolling home. Comment if you know that song. I feel like if you're like my age or older you definitely do. But each verse the old man does weirder and weirder things. Like for example another verse is this old man he played eight. He played knickknack on my gate. Like imagine looking out the window of your house and seeing a creepy old man like banging on the gate. <laughs> Another verse is this old man, he played nine, he played knickknack on my spine. So like the whole song is like an old man like playing knickknack on like people's body parts and like coming into their house. I don't know, it's so weird. Anyways, they took that tune and then turned it into the I love you song on Barney. But I actually looked into the history of the this old man song just to see like where this all came from, why they made the lyrics that way. And apparently it was describing when the English were hating on the Irish people after the potato famine. This old man refers to the influx of Irish beggars going door to door in England after the famine and they were trying to sell knickknacks to these English people to get money obviously or they would play a rhythm called knickknacks using spoons and they would like pat them on their legs on their arms making like a song out of it and they would be doing this to get some spare change because obviously they were poor in this famine. Okay so there's this legend that if you play the I love you song backwards after midnight you will hear something Something very very unexpected. Apparently the first time you listen to it, it'll just sound like a bunch of weird and slightly unsettling gibberish, but the second time you hear it, you will hear Barney saying over and over again, behind you, behind you. I'm behind you. And it kind of sounds like I love you, I love you behind you. Ugh. And you're supposed to turn around right away as soon as he says that in order to keep Barney away. If you don't turn around fast enough, he will run out of the room before you have a chance to spot him. And he'll go and hide somewhere in your house and you have to go and find him. Like you're playing hide and seek with Barney and when you find him, then he'll leave your house. But if not, he'll stay in there forever. Ugh. Now I kind of want to try this on the vlog channel because it sounds so ridiculous ridiculous to me. <laughs> I just don't know how people like find a way to listen to the song backwards. I guess we'll have to like import it into our editing software and like play it backwards. I don't know. But anyways, I saw that legend and I had to tell you guys because of all the times I've talked about Barney on this channel. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I don't forget if you would like one of these new star earrings. By the way, they're nickel free because I know a lot of people have allergies with wearing uh, jewelry and earrings. So they're nickel free. They're not gonna bother your ears in any way. And if you would like any of the lava lamp slime, I have also linked it down below. But hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!